Have you ever wondered how much of your DNA comes from our ancient cousins, the Neanderthals? These fascinating hominins aren't just a relic of the past, they've left a genetic legacy that still impacts our lives today. In this video, we'll explore the world of Neanderthals, their origins, how scientists study their DNA, and the specific genes we have inherited that still shape us today. Neanderthals were a species of ancient humans who lived between 400,000 and 40,000 years ago. They evolved from a common ancestor, Homo heidelbergensis, around 600,000 to 800,000 years ago, adapting to the cold climates of Europe and Western Asia. Over time, Neanderthals became highly specialized for their environment, with stocky builds, large brains, and advanced tools. When modern humans began migrating out of Africa about 70,000 years ago, they encountered Neanderthals in Europe and Asia, with the first encounters thought to have occurred in the Middle East. Although it is impossible to tell exactly how these interactions played out, we now know that these interactions went beyond simple day-to-day -day encounters. The genetic evidence points to a more intriguing possibility. Neanderthals and anatomically modern humans interbred. To understand how Neanderthals' genes may have shaped modern humans, scientists rely on ancient DNA analysis. Fossils from sites like Vindija Cave in Croatia, Denisova Cave in Siberia, and El Cidron in Spain have provided well-preserved samples for genetic analysis. Using advanced sequencing technologies, researchers can reconstruct Neanderthal genomes and compare them to those of modern humans. Through these comparisons, We've identified specific genes that Neanderthals passed on to us, and therefore we can begin to unravel their impacts on modern human biology. The transfer of genetic material between species or populations through hybridization, followed by backcrossing, is known as introgression. In the context of human evolution, introgression occurred when anatomically modern humans, Homo sapiens, interbred with closely related hominin species, such as Neanderthals and Denisovans, after modern humans migrated out of Africa. This interbreeding introduced segments of Neanderthal and Denisovan DNA into the gene pool of non-African modern humans. Over generations, natural selection acted on the introgressed DNA, retaining beneficial variants while removing deleterious ones. Today, around 1-2% of the genome of non-African modern humans comes from Neanderthals, with some populations, for example Melanesians, carrying an additional 3 to 5% Denisovan DNA. Introgression increased genetic diversity in non-African populations by introducing novel alleles that were not present in ancestral African populations. Introgressed DNA has had both beneficial and detrimental effects on modern humans, influencing traits ranging from immunity and metabolism to skin pigmentation and disease susceptibility. One of the most intriguing aspects of Neanderthal DNA is how it influences traits in modern humans. For example, the MC1R gene involved in melanin production affects skin and hair pigmentation. Neanderthal variants of this gene are associated with lighter skin and red hair, adaptations that may have helped early humans in northern climates absorb more vitamin D from limited sunlight. This also points to the possibility that Neanderthals, rather than being dark-haired and dark-skinned, had red hair and fair skin, adaptations that would have better suited their ancient environment in the Northern Hemisphere. Another gene, BNC2, influences tanning ability and sunburn susceptibility. These genetic traits were likely advantageous for surviving in specific climates, but today they can lead to challenges like UV sensitivity. Neanderthal DNA didn't just affect our appearance, it also shaped our immune systems. Genes like TLR6, TLR1, and TLR10 may have helped early humans detect and fight off pathogens in Europe and Asia. These immune recognition genes are known to provide early detection of some modern pathogens and help the immune system mount an effective immune response by releasing pro-inflammatory cytokines. However, these same toll-like receptor genes may also increase the risk of allergies and autoimmune diseases in modern populations. The excessive release of inflammatory cytokines 
like IL-1 and tumor necrosis factor, can contribute to inflammatory diseases. Neanderthal genes also influence our metabolism, sometimes in surprising ways. For instance, a Neanderthal variant of the SLC16A11 gene is linked to an increased risk of type 2 diabetes in modern humans. These genes code for a protein that belongs to the monocarboxylate transporter family, which are expressed in the liver and play a role in lipid metabolism. Therefore, SLC16A11 is thought to be central to energy homeostasis and fat storage. This Neanderthal variant is particularly common in populations from Latin America and parts of East Asia, where it has been associated with higher risk of type 2 diabetes. But why would a gene associated with diabetes be passed down and remain in the modern human population? In an evolutionary context, this gene likely had benefits in the past. It's thought that the SLC16A11 variant helped early humans store fat more efficiently, an advantage during times of food scarcity. Today, in a world of abundant calories and Western lifestyles, this same adaptation may inadvertently contribute to metabolic diseases. For example, lipid accumulation in the liver and other tissues triggers chronic low-grade inflammation. This inflammatory state exacerbates insulin resistance which can perpetuate a cycle of increased fat storage and metabolic dysfunction, ultimately contributing to obesity and diabetes risk. Similarly, genes like STAT2 and those in the OAS1 cluster, which boost antiviral defenses, may have protected Neanderthals and early humans from deadly infections. For example, studies have suggested this variant may enhance the ability of STAT2 to promote the expression of antiviral genes. Similarly, Neanderthal-derived variants of OAS1 are associated with greater sensitivity to viral RNA. This may lead to a more robust activation of the antiviral pathway. The Neanderthal OAS1 variant has been linked to reduced susceptibility to severe COVID-19. Carriers of this variant tend to have lower viral loads and better outcomes in infections. While these genes enhance survival to pathogens in the past, or even to existing pathogens in the present, they have been linked to higher risks of autoimmune conditions like systemic lupus, erythematosus, and Crohn's disease in modern populations. The immune-enhancing effects of these variants, while beneficial in combating infections, may come at the cost of increased susceptibility to autoimmune and inflammatory conditions in the modern world. Other Neanderthal genes, like variants of HIL2 gene, are thought to have helped protect against cold stress and frostbite, vital for surviving Ice Age environmental conditions. The HYAL2 gene codes for an enzyme involved in the degradation of hyaluronic acid, HA, which is a naturally occurring polysaccharide, a type of sugar molecule, found throughout the body and best known for its remarkable ability to retain water. However, in modern settings, these same gene variants may no longer provide clear benefits and could even be linked to chronic inflammatory conditions or neurological dysfunction. A Neanderthal variant of HIL2 has been associated with altered expression or function of the enzyme in the brain. This variant has been linked to increased risk of neural tube defects, NTDs, such as spina bifida, possibly due to disrupted hyaluronic acid metabolism during embryonic development, as hyaluronic acid plays a key role in the developing central nervous system. These examples highlight an important theme in evolution. What was once advantageous in the past may become a disease risk in a changing modern world. Neanderthal genes reflect the trade-offs our ancestors made to survive in their environments, some of which still shape our health and disease risk today. Many introgressed alleles that were beneficial in ancient environments now contribute to diseases in modern settings due to changes in diet, lifestyle, and pathogen exposure. From metabolic disorders to autoimmune diseases, Neanderthal DNA has left a complex legacy in our genomes. These genes remind us of the challenges our ancestors faced, whether it was adapting to extreme climates, fighting infections, or surviving food shortages. While some of these adaptations now pose risks, they're also a testament to human resilience and evolution. 
Understanding these genes isn't just about looking back, it's also about looking forward. By studying how ancient DNA affects us today, scientists can uncover new ways to treat diseases and improve health. Introgression has played a vital role in shaping modern human biology and disease susceptibility. While it provided key adaptive advantages for survival in diverse environments, it also introduced genetic variants that contribute to the prevalence of certain diseases in contemporary populations. This legacy underscores the complex interplay between evolutionary history and modern health. So, the next time you think about your ancestors, remember that you're carrying a little piece of Neanderthal history with you. Understanding the effects of introgressed alleles can improve predictions of disease risk and responses to treatments, particularly for populations with high frequencies of archaic DNA. Introgression provides valuable information about how modern humans adapted to new environments and challenges during their migrations out of Africa. From metabolism to immunity, their genes tell an incredible story of survival and adaptation. The study of ancient DNA introgression, the transfer of genetic material from archaic humans like Neanderthals and Denisovans into modern human genomes, has significant implications for biomedical research. Understanding the biological and evolutionary consequences of this genetic mixing provides insights into human health, disease, susceptibility, immune function and adaptation. Thanks for watching.